This was it. The big one. The big one. The big one is over. Holy. <laughs> Chewing gum in my mouth. I'm just gonna sit right here. It's disgusting, I know. Like, I've double checked, triple checked, and I just keep walking around as if, like, they're gonna find a note that's like, don't worry, you're fine, Every, you've packed everything. <laughs> but there's no way to know. It's so, like, like that. The organizer doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to know if I'm ready? Um, do I need the spoon? <laughs> do I need the spoon? <laughs> Underwear. I'm not making the cut. <laughs> I don't think I need a dress shirt. You guys are going to be around and I can't ask you for anything. Like, all I can do is just yeah. be like, okay, watch me suffer. Yeah. And your guy's gonna be like, great, we're, gonna, we're, we're super well equipped to watch you suffer. I saw a fat bike, um, which made me more nervous because it's easy to like poke fun at that person and be like, God, oh, that's gonna be a long trip. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait, he could just ride past me at some moment on a fat bike, just laughing, going, I knew. <laughs> Like, I hope that's not the guy who organized the first part of the course. <laughs> so, you're planning on riding this whole stage in one go? Yeah, straight through. So, 630k. 630k, I've done it before, not off-road. I think it's probably gonna take me around 40 hours. Maybe a bit less. But we'll just have to see. How many gels do you have? About 30. 30 gels. Yeah, keep me going. Hardcore. Can you hear me, Harry? Imagine. Yep, loud and clear, go ahead. Overhead and mm -hmm. give them a break from our exhaust. How you doing? Good. I made a crucial error for well, I wanted to stop around 150k and then there was just nothing until they great current. I had no water and no food. And I was like one of those things that a real amateur does. <laughs> Did you say you could see him? I can see him. Once he goes past your car, will you radio me really quickly? Or just before, actually? Coming, incoming. Perfect, thank you. I feel like I have an amazing amount of energy. Yeah, <laughs> just gonna keep going. I'm sure that'll stop at some point, but until that point, I'm just gonna keep going. I live on the south side of Bristol, um, so I've been dot watching all day, to be honest. And I was going to go to bed, but I knew he wasn't going to stop. I knew after the other dude had stopped in Bridgewater, I thought he's just going to keep going, his knee. So I thought I'd come along, give him a beer, say hello, give him a Bristol hand up. So uh, quite excited. Hey, that's a brother, mate. Can we offer you a beer? Welcome to Bristol. <laughs> I don't know if I could do a beer right now. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I figured if you're going to win that, you're the only person who's not going to get a beer, so it seems only fair to bring you one. Just uh, how you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Man? <laughs> Shook the headset loose. <laughs> I'm still... Oh, Sunday morning. Everything's closed.
How many hours have you been riding for now? Oh, I've been riding. 21 hours. No, yeah. 21 and a half hours. <laughs> oh. That poor b He's about to go into the fire. Oh, honest to God. That was the most unenjoyable 10Ks of my life. That was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah? Oh, that was brutal! <laughs> yeah. This is my favourite place here. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what Sam loves doing? Just ruining my shots. <laughs> I'm really good at it. Instant. Yeah. We love instant. Was it special? Yeah, I mean it's just it's just become such an easy part of my life. <laughs> you just love I just do it and yeah, then yeah. it's done. Most people, I mean if I most have people like, carry around like super posh copy in their pocket. Yeah. That's just Nescafe. Like it's just when when I travel I just yeah. got this is not even Nescafe, this is the spa brand. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's been like a week since I saw you. I know, and it was only like except for when I thought I saw you on the trail last night. It told me. I well, you thought I was, was just standing there. I thought you were standing there, and like I came down, and I was like, oh, you must have hiked up a bit for this one. And I was like, oh, I guess I, it has been pretty slow going, like. And then, like, so I was coming down like this, and it was pretty technical single track, so I was kind of like, oh, I'll just focus on like this, and then like. When I get to the gate here, I'll like say hi. Got to the gate and looked over, and I was like, "He's not there." No one. Was it anyone? No, no one at all. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking of the guy on the fat bike, and like just the different sections, and being like, "Oh, you've got me here. Like, you'll come. You'll definitely get through here quicker than I will." And then I hit another like super steep climb and push my bike and I'm like, how's the fat bike now? <laughs> So 
just finished that climb. And now I'm on this f***ing walking path. It's 12 k's long and you can't ride any of it. I'm perched up on the side of this thing. Uh, I don't understand. This is not bike riding. This is something totally else. 11 k's of this. He's just still not figured it out. No. Nope. He hasn't figured it out. Oh, why does he just ask those guys? I know. I had a mental breakdown. Rock bottom. And then I realized that I was just going to be stuck there. And it was getting colder. Let's just go. And then I just started running. <laughs> Even though I'm just bushwhacking, I got sushi for dinner. <laughs> Check that out. I'd love to tell you it's surprisingly comfortable, but it's about as comfortable as it looks. The good news is, this is happening in the first hour, not the 20th hour. What a monster game. <laughs> That's the biggest game. Thus far. This is a fairy tale. Didn't know these places existed. 